Hello students. Uh, today we will be uh, going through the AC voltage controller problems. So the first problem, an AC voltage controller has a resistive load of 10 ohms and RMS input voltage 120 volt, 60 hertz. The thyristor switch is on for N equal to 25 cycles and off for M equal to 75 cycles. Determine RMS output voltage, input power factor and average and RMS current of the thyristor. So the first thing that you have to find out is the RMS output voltage. So RMS output voltage is given by V0 is equal to Vs into root of D. Now, we don't know what is the duty cycle. So you might also have the Vs on the root of K. Suppose you are writing the duty cycle in terms of K uh, variable. So Vs into root of K. So same thing D or K duty cycle can be represented either by D or K. So now duty cycle K is not given. So we will have to calculate. So K is equal to N divided by N plus M. So N and M is given substitute. So 25 divided by 25 plus 75. So you will get 0.25. So 0.25 is your duty cycle. So next substitute the duty cycle in the RMS output voltage. It is in this formula. So what is Vs? Vs as you know it is 120 volt. So 120 into root of 0.25. So this will give you an answer of 60 volts. So RMS output voltage is 60 volts. Next they have asked you to calculate the input power factor. So input power factor is given by output power divided by the total RMS input power. So output power can also be found out using output power is equal to your V0 that is your VRMS or V0 into IRMS or I0. So V0 and I0 both are RMS values. So these are both are RMS values. So V0 and I0. V0 you have already calculated that is 60. So I0. Now I0 is not given you have to calculate that is the RMS value of current. So RMS value of current. I0 is equal to V0 by R. So V0 is nothing but the RMS value of voltage that is 60 divided by R. R is given in the problem that is 10. So substitute. So you will get 6 amps. So substitute this. So 60 into 6. So you will get 360 watts. So this is the output power. Next you have to calculate the total RMS input power. So total RMS input power is Vs into Is. Now what is Is? Is is also, Is can also be written, uh, Is is same as that of your RMS value of the current. So Is can also be written as I0. So Vs is 120 into I0 that is 6. So Y6, six. so 6 is nothing but the RMS value of the current. Now input current is is equal to i0 so therefore i can substitute i0 in terms uh, instead of is so that is why i have substituted like this so 120 into 6 that will give you 720 watts so you have found out output power and rms input power from this you can calculate what is the power factor so power factor as you know it is output power divided by total rms input power so 360 divided by 720 
so that will give you 0.5 next you have to calculate average and rms current of thyristor we have to find out the average thyristor current so average thyristor current is given by so average thyristor current i say let us write it as ia so ia is equal to k into im by pi now again we don't know im so let us calculate im so im is equal to vm by r vm we have already calculated now vm is given by so you already know vs is equal to vm by root 2 right so vm is equal to vs into root 2 so what is vs vs is already given in your uh, question that is 120 so 120 into root 2 so that will give you 169.7 volts so that I'll substitute. So 169.7 divided by R. R is given in your problem 10. So that will be 16.97 amps. Substitute this. So K is nothing but the duty cycle which you have already calculated and you have got 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 into 16.97 divided by pi. So, IA is equal to 1.33 amps. The next thing they have asked you to calculate is the RMS current of the thyristor. So, RMS thyristor current. It is given by IR. So IR is equal to IM into root of K divided by 2. So IM is calculated. So 16.97 into root of 0.25 divided by 2. So that will give you an answer of 4.24 amps. next question a single phase half wave ac voltage controller has an input voltage of 230 volt 50 hertz and a load resistance of 10 ohms firing angle of the thyristor is 90 degree in each positive half cycle find the average output voltage rms output voltage average thyristor current rms current value of the thyristor diode average current and diode rms current so the first thing that we have to find out is the average output voltage so average output voltage is given by VDC. So VDC is given by root 2 into Vs divided by 2 pi into cos of alpha minus 1. So root 2 into Vs is 230 divided by 2 pi cos of alpha is pi by 2 minus 1 so you will get 43.5602 next is the rms output voltage so rms output voltage is given by Vm by 2 root pi two pi minus alpha plus sine two alpha by two whole to the power half. So Vm we have not calculated. Now we know Vs is equal to Vm by root two. So Vm will be equal to Vs into root 2 
ds we already know it is 230 volts so 230 into root 2 so this will give you 325.26 volts so substitute this so vrms is equal to 325.26 divided by 2 root pi 2 pi minus alpha alpha is 90 degree that means pi by 2 plus sine 2 pi by 2 divided by 2 put to the power half so you will get an answer of 199.2 volts next is the average thyristor current so average thyristor current so let me take average thyristor current as ia so ia is equal to so i can also write it as vm by by r into 1 plus cos alpha so vm is 325.26 into 1 plus cos of pi by 2 that is 90 degree divided by 2 pi into 10 r is 10 so you will get an answer of 5.2 one seven six six amps next we have to calculate what is the rms current value of the thyristor so rms current value of thyristor That is I R is given by P S by R or you can also take this V M by in terms of V M if you want you can take this formula V M into 2 R into root of 1 by pi pi minus alpha plus sine 2 alpha divided by 2 so you can write so substituting so we have vm is equal to 325.26 so 325.26 divided by 2 into 10 into root of 1 by pi pi minus alpha is pi by 2 plus sine 2 into pi by 2 that is sine pi by 2 so you will get an answer of 11.499 amps next they have asked you for diode average current So diode average current this is given by vm by pi r so that is ida is equal to vm by pi into r so vm you know it is 325.26 divided by pi into 10 so the substitute in your calculator 325.26 divided by pi into 10 that will give you 10.35 amps next they have asked you for diode rms current so next they have asked you for diode rms current 
so diode rm is current diode rm is current is given by id is equal to vs by root 2 into r so vs you know uh, that is given in your problem that is 230 divided by root 2 into r that is 10 so substitute in your calculator so 230 divided by root 2 into 10 so that will give you 16.26 amps so we are done with this problem next let us go to the second problem next question the single phase full wave ac voltage controller has a resistive load of r equal to 10 ohms the input is vs equal to 120 volt rm is 60 hertz the delay angle of the thyristors t1 and t2 are equal to alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 equal to pi by 2 calculate rms value of the output voltage average current through the thyristors rms current of the thyristor and the input power factor so we have first we have to calculate the rms output voltage So RMS value of output voltage that is V naught RMS is given by Vs into root of 1 by pi pi minus alpha plus sine 2 alpha by 2 so next let us substitute vs as you know it is given as 120 volt so 120 root of 1 by pi pi minus alpha alpha as you know it is pi by 2 plus sine 2 into pi by 2 divided by 2 so substitute in your calculator and see what you will get so you will get 84.85 volts next they have asked you to calculate the average current through the thyristor so average current through the thyristor is given by vm by 2 pi r into 1 plus cos alpha so average current through the thyristor So that is IA. IA is given by Vm by 2 pi r into 1 plus cos alpha. Now Vm we have not calculated. Let us calculate that. So Vs is equal to Vm by root 2. So Vm will be equal to one twenty into root two. So let us first find out that so one twenty into root two that is one sixty nine point seven volts. So one sixty nine point seven volts. So one sixty nine point seven divided by two pi into R that is ten into one plus cos of pi by two. So next find out this so 169.7 divided by 2 pi into 10 into 1 plus cos of pi by 2 so that will give you an answer of 2.7 amps.
Next, you have to also find out the RMS current of the thyristor. So, RMS current of thyristor. This is given by IR is equal to I naught RMS by root 2. Now we have to find out what is I naught RMS. So I naught RMS can also be given by I naught RMS is equal to V naught RMS by R. So V naught RMS is 84.85 volts divided by 10, which will give you 8.485 amps. So now we can substitute. So IR will be equal to I naught RMS that is 8.485 divided by root 2. So this one will give you 6 amps. So next is input power factor. So input power factor is given by V naught RMS by Vs. So V naught RMS is already calculated that is 84.85 volts divided by Vs is given in your problem that is 120. So calculate you will get a power factor of 0 0.707.